back to my channel. Um, I'm here after a very long time because like I said in my other videos, I'm in college now. It's pretty stressful. I don't have a lot of time to film. Now I'm back now and I cut my hair and I love it. So I've just been obsessed with it ever since I cut it. I feel like it makes every outfit that I wear. So this is what it looks like and here's what it looks like from the back. It's like super sharply cut, it's all one length, and um, yeah, she did a really good job. Um, if you're wanting to get this haircut or a similar haircut, I basically just told my hairstylist to give me a blunt cut with no layers and no face framing or anything like that, so just like literally just a sharp, like blunt cut and that's it. It's super easy to style, I'm basically just going to show you the products I put in it before I straighten it and then also how I curl it when I do curl it. So if you want to learn how I style my hair, then keep watching. So I just showered and did my makeup really quickly and um, that's why my hair is a little bit wet still. But the next thing I do is I'm just going to take this L'Oreal, it's basically just a heat protectant and I'm just going to spray it all around my hair. So. And then once I've sprayed that, I'm just going to take my hair dryer and it's really important that you dry your hair upside down. If you ha have hair like me that's like pretty fine and like lays flat, I always blow dry it upside down because that gives it like a lot of volume towards the top. Actually, I'm going to brush it out first. I'm gonna go ahead and do my part, and I like a middle part, but I can never get it right in the middle. So, yeah, that's probably as close as I'm gonna get it. And now I'm just gonna flip my head upside down and blow dry. So it's like 90% dry now, just like some parts in the back are still wet, but the tops are pretty much dry. And so the next thing I do, which is really important, is I take this um, Full Bloom by Big Sexy Hair. It's basically to make your hair look thicker and fuller and like just give it a lot of volume, which I like. So you just take it and shake it up. And you spray it like near your roots, like pretty much just, I'll section it like, like this. And just spray it in here. Random areas near the top. And after that sprayed in, it's gonna make your hair really like, it's gonna feel crusty at first, but just take the hair dryer and blow dry it upside down again and it's going to make it have volume. <laughs> okay, so that is done and my hair looks crazy, so I'm just gonna brush that out. But yeah, it definitely has a lot more volume around here than it did before. So I would say that this spray is like super, <laughs> oh my God, my hair looks crazy. This spray is definitely like super essential. If you have hair like mine, which not a lot of Indians do because most of you guys were blessed with thick hair, but me and my mom were not. So I, I, it's a struggle making it look thick, but whatever. So for my straightener, I use this Argan Heat one and only flat iron and it's pretty thick. I like that it's thick because I feel like I, cover more ground than if I'm just using a thinner straightener and um, for me if I like over straighten my hair it'll get flat again so this is just easier for me but yeah I do not section it or anything I just kind of go in and oh that's a lot of heat <laughs> I just go in and um, straighten it piece by piece like that
So this is it straightened, and if you want, you can go in with this argan oil, um, it's just argan oil in a little bottle, and you can spray it on your hair. I try to do it when my hair is more dry because otherwise it'll make my hair oily, but um, either way, I only put it on the ends, but yeah, if your hair is like feeling really dry or coarse, I would spray that in there, and it makes it super shiny. Okay, so for this hairstyle, I use um, this Paul Mitchell wand. I'll probably link it in the description box because I don't know what it's called off the top of my head. But um, it does, it has like three different wands. It has the thinner one, this one, and then the thicker one. But I just use the medium because it looks the best on this hairstyle. So I'm going to take a section that's like this much. I think that's like an inch. I don't know. And then I'm going to barely I just wrap it around like this and the key is like don't do the whole end and leave it for like barely any time and then pull it straight like that that's it it's like barely anything but like when it's done it looks super cute and then I'm gonna take the next section I don't know maybe that's like two inches I don't know but I take like about that much and then I go the opposite way. So last time I went like this away from my face and this time I'm going to, my hair dryer is stuck in there. I'm gonna go towards my face, just like this and then like leave an end. I mean, leave the end out and just go like this and then just hold it like that when it's done. And that is how I'm gonna do my whole entire head Again, I don't section it off because my hair is hella thin and it would just be pointless. I'm going to take this like that. Like barely do much. Literally hold it there for like four or five seconds max. Maybe even less than that and just pull it straight just like that. That was too long. Yeah, that's like curlier than I want it. That's fine. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm just gonna fast forward through this next part, but you get the gist of it. I'm just switching sides. I mean, I'm switching directions each way that I go. I'm only holding it for like four seconds and then I'm pulling it straight, just like that. The reason that you wanna alternate sides is because it gives it more of a messy, like tussled type of look, rather than if you just go like all one direction the whole way around the curls kind of like mesh together also I don't think I said it but the most important step is like after you curl it when most people like after you wand your hair when you let it go you hold the curl right like in your hand to make sure that it cools in that position but like the fact that we curled it and held it straight like is gonna keep it like this like rather than a ringlet kind of Okay, and now I'm going to move on to the other side. It's obviously going to be the same thing. I'm just going to take that first section and go away from your face. And hold that end. There should be like an inch hanging off the end. An inch long of hair, barely hold it for any time. And then pull it straight. And that is it. When I first did this hairstyle, I was like, I was so impatient, like I kept holding it for longer because I was like, what the hell is this? Like, that's not even a curl. But like, on this short hair, like this length of hair, it ends up looking way better than if you like, have super tight curls. Because then your hair just looks like really, really short. is the finished look that's how it looks when it's curled or waved whatever you want to call this but yeah I really like how this looks here's how it looks from the back okay so I forgot to film an outro so that's it for today's video but if you guys liked it make sure that you like comment and subscribe bye Become a favorite sister. Let her keep, let her keep on talking. That's right. We